What's up, YouTube? So, I found one. I found one! This thing is massive. I, I can't even get it, the whole thing in the shot. The Masters of the Universe Battlefield Warriors 2-pack. Let me, let me compare this. Like, I want you to know how big this is. So everyone was saying how massive this was. The Revelations Battle Cat box. Like, look at that. Look how much bigger this box is. It's a huge box. This thing is a, a massive beast of a box. And uh, yeah, I haven't gotten around to opening that battle can yet, but I'm gonna open this one and uh, we're gonna talk about it. I can't fit it in the light box. So you'll have to excuse the glare as I show you the artwork. Okay, so the back of the box, you got a nice big battle scene going on. We see Faker on Duplicat. You see one of uh, Merman's henchmen in the background there. And then you see this guy here, this Cyclops guy that doesn't have a name. Uh, he was on the Fisto artwork. And uh, we have Too Bad making a debut. So that's kind of cool. You also see Skeletor riding Panthor. And then it's got the future wave coming out of the, the I think that's wave six. The Wind Raider, Castle Grayskull, and then you got the instructions on the back on how to op how to operate Battle Armor He-Man. But I think you already know how to operate it, Battle Armor He-Man. So, yeah, this thing's a big box. On the side of the box, you got a dinosaur. He's running around. And on this side, you got that uh, that that frog type guy. Yeah, it's the same guy that's on the back of the box. Could be brothers. I don't. I don't know. I don't know the whole. I don't know the whole uh, backstory to them. But um, so this thing also comes with little gargoyles, and they're supposed to go on Castle Grayskull. And uh, you see them on the back. They're showing them on Castle Grayskull. Now my Castle Grayskull is still in the box, so I'm not going to be showing you how to do that. But whatever. You'll get it. You'll get it. You'll figure it out. Battlefield Warriors on the bottom. There's your UPC code. Um, it's got... There you go. You can see it's got a top of the window box. This is a really cool artwork. It's going to be a bummer to open this up. But this thing is so massive. Who's got the space for this anyway? So I'm going to open this up, I'll put it in the light box, and uh, I'm going to compare them to the other Battle Armor He-Mans. I've got both variants, so I'll be comparing him to both, as well as comparing Battle Cats, and uh, yeah. Here's something I felt like pointing out. So it came with the instructions for Battle Armor He-Man, but look at the head on the Battle Armor He-Man. That is not the head that comes with this one. So they just uh, threw the other instructions in this two-pack. So there's He-Man, all assembled. He's riding Battle Cat. The stand is actually snapped in place, and you can easily unsnap it. It's actually pretty easy. So if you don't want it, you know, you can just unsnap it and get rid of it. But yeah, there he is. In all his glory, he's riding Battle Cat. It comes with these comes with these gargoyle figures. You know, I can't I can't get them to mount. They're supposed to mount on Castle Grayskull, like I said. I'm not putting my Castle Grayskull together. So I don't know. I, I don't know. They're just gonna fall off and uh, they're gonna be jerks, I guess. Cause uh, I, I don't know what to do. Maybe I can mount them to his no. I don't know. They're gonna get lost. <laughs> they're 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 definitely going to get lost. I don't know what else to say about those. But yeah, there we go. That's how he looks mounted. So here he is with the uh, two Origins Battle Armor He-Man releases. I have both variants. As you can see, the variant, this guy over here with the yelling face, he has the duller armor and the striped boots. And then the one, this guy over here with the vintage face, 
he has the shine. Well, what was the shiny armor? And the he doesn't have the straps on his boots painted. So those are the differences. This one here was the first release of the Battle Armor He-Man. I think this one's a little rarer now because the ones I see in the store are all this one. Um, I've, I've never actually seen this one in the store. I got him online. That was when Battle Armor first came out. Uh, but every Battle Armor He-Man I've seen in the store has always been this one. So I don't know, I don't know what the story is behind that. I don't know. Uh, I wish I had this one still in box. I have, I have one of the other ones still in box, but I don't have that one in box anymore. Like I said, I didn't realize there was going to be a variant when I got that one. But there you go. That's what he looks like next to those guys. So you can see how much shinier he is. That is a uh, vac metal armor that he has going on. And let me tell you something about the action feature on his. His seems to work a lot easier than these two guys. Um, okay, well this one's works pretty good. But I, I kind of struggle with this one a little bit. It works, but you really got to push that one. This one I find, the new one, uh, his, his battle feature works a lot easier. And, it, and it, it just seems to work easier for me than the other two. So now I'm going to compare the two yelling heads. So the new one, kind of inspired from the old one, I think. But this is, he's got more of the vintage face going than the other one. Well, the other one doesn't have the vintage face going at all. And this one has a wind blowing hair kind of effect going on. I like it. And I think I'm going to display him on Battle Cat with that effect on my shelf. Just to make him a little different. He stands out a little more. Um, this head has that has that battle scar and I'm not a big fan of that so the thing about this is um, these battle scars are just paint so you could probably get some nail polish remover and just remove it if you wanted to I'm not saying that you should I'm just saying you could but yeah I, I like to keep things the way they are out of the package and uh, yeah I think I'm going to display them with this head not that I would ever display him on a shelf, like just standing there with that head, but I think on Battle Cat, riding Battle Cat, with his wind blowing in the hair, maybe I'll put him in Wind Raider. That kind of makes sense if you think about it. Wind Raider, windy hair, makes perfect sense to me. Uh, I have a Wind Raider, I haven't reviewed it yet. I'm gonna have to get around to doing that. I also wanted to compare the battle axes. There is a slight difference. As you see, this one here is the one that has come with this set. And it's a lighter, more, almost more shiny. Well, it's shinier. It's definitely shinier plastic than the one that comes with the standard Battle Armor He-Man. And it's got some sparkles to it. Uh, so yeah, it is a little different. It's slightly different. Uh, it's the same mold, but it's a slightly different axe. So it is, it is definitely, uh, it definitely goes with the, the two pack. Same for the sword. Here's the half sword that comes with the regular battle armor. This is the sword that comes with the two pack and it's a little lighter and it's a little shinier and you can see it's got those sparkles going on to it. And it's a full power sword though. Battle armor He-Man did not come with a shield. This one does and it is lighter than your standard He-Man shield. And it comes, has a, well, it's hard to pick up on camera, but it does have those little, little sparkles going on. I don't have a vintage Flying Fist T-Man to compare him to. And I was just playing with mine last weekend while I was visiting my parents. So that's kind of a bummer. But here he is next to the Super 7 Hero figure. So you can see the, if you have this figure, you know the, the vac metal it's got. And you could compare the shininess and they are very, very much similar. Um, this one here is definitely built a lot better and you could pose him better. This thing is, you gotta lean him. I can't get him to stand on his own. He's always gotta lean against something and I feel like I'm gonna break him just by touching him. But 
That's uh, Super 7 for you, and that is Mattel for you. Mattel for the win. And let's compare the Battle Cats. They're pretty much the same. This armor is shinier. This armor, or this Battle Cat, has battle damage scars to him. This one does not have those. Other than that, they're pretty much the same. Um, I don't know. I've seen some reviewers say that this is a different color green. And uh, I'm, not, I, I'm not saying that they're wrong. I just think it's a different finish. I think this is a... Uh, it's not really shiny, but it feels different, if, if you know what I mean. Like, this, this cat has a different plastic feel than this cat. This cat has more of a hard plastic feel. This one, it's still hard, but I, I don't know how to describe it. It's just different. Um, but yeah, they are, they are the same other than that. I really like the shiny Battle Cat um, as far as how it looks in the room. But on the camera, I, I don't know. I think the colors on the flat Battle Cat pop a little more. I don't know. This also looks a little darker. But I don't think it is. I think it's just the finish. My personal preference would be probably this guy, but I think for the review purposes, this guy probably matches, well, I don't know, let's find out. There he is on, the, on that battle cat. Yeah, you could you could go either way. You could go you could definitely go either way on that. I don't think it matters. Okay, so here's my final thoughts. Do you absolutely need this two pack? Depends. Um, no, you don't. If you have the Battle Cat, which you can go to any store right now and find Battle Cat. He's sitting on all the shelves. I even think Walmart has him clearanced out at like 15 bucks right now. If you have Battle Cat and you already have Battle Armor He-Man, you really don't need this. Um, if you don't have either one of them and you're just getting into collecting, I would say, yeah, go ahead and buy this because this is a cool two-pack and this would be the only one you need. That being said, I'm glad I got it. I really like this new head sculpt. For me, that alone was the price of admission. <laughs> um, but so I own pretty much like... As far as Origins goes, I own like three of everything. I don't think I'm going to own three of this. I think this is it for me for this one. If they go on clearance, maybe I'll buy another one just to keep in package. But this is fine for me. I don't need another one. I'm glad I own it. I'm glad I was able to find one. Let me know in the comments below. Have you seen it in your Target? Do you own one? They're coming. We saw Rise of Evil kind of had a very bad start, but now they're everywhere. This one's start, I think I feel, is better than the Rise of Evil start. And I think you're only going to see them on the shelves everywhere from now on. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, I will see you guys on the next video.